Hello guys and welcome back to the CSA Forex YouTube channel. It's a pleasure having you guys here. And today we're going to be talking about the cable. Yes, the cable GBP USD. What do you see? What do you see with respect to this chart that we have in front of us? Now, first things first, we always say is to check the calendar. This is GBP USD. So we check the calendar to find out if there is any news coming out for pounds or for the dollar. So now looking at the calendar from Forex Factory, today is what? Today is the 10th of October and that is what we have here Tuesday and we do not have any high impact news. I repeat, we do not have any high impact news. High impact news are the ones that are colored red. These are the ones that can make the market to move in a very volatile manner, right? So as we have, as we don't have this for the fundamentals, then we can continue with the technicals and look at what the market is trying to tell us. Now you can see there has been a steady up movement, a steady incline of price, and that is showing you the, the buying pressure. So that means that for you also to try to take advantage of this chart and what we have in front of us, you should be looking forward to buy, right? So the question now is, where would you like to buy? You are supposed to buy at the support. So first of all, right from the left-hand side, this was uh, a resistance area where the price went down. And then it came back here, acted as resistance again as it went down. And then it broke out. And then did what instead of acting as support, acted as resistance, acted as resistance again, and acted as resistance. And then it broke out up to the upside again, and then acted as support. So you can see this level that we have mapped out. First of all, it's a very important level that has acted as support and also has acted as resistance. Now this is what we call a flip zone. A flip zone. A flip zone is an area that has acted as support and then acted as resistance at one point in time or has acted as resistance and then acted as support at one point in time interchangeably. So this is what we're looking out for, for the cable, right? For price to pull back to this area and then you wait for the reaction here because anything can happen around here. Wait for the reaction based on the candlestick patterns and then what do you do? You look for your trigger. Your trigger will be those candlestick formations. Since you want to buy, it could easily be a bullish. Bullish is for buying. So it could easily be a bullish pin bar or a bullish hammer. Or it could even be a bullish engulfing. Those are the two very common categories of candles. Mind you, the hammer and the pin bar are more or less the same. And other traders use some other variations of entry. Could be a form of doji or inside bars or that's what people call dips or it could even be um just chart patterns or whatever the case may be some could even use touch trade but whatever you're going to do right make sure that you are confident in this area i am but then i wait for confirmation based on those candlestick patterns so if i have this trust me i'll be looking forward to an entry here stop plus just below and then you could do TP1 over here, which is maybe about one to two or one to three thereabout, which is a good trade. And then you could see if it breaks out of this area here and continues as what continues to be bullish. And you could as well pull back to this area and give you another potential entry here. And then you take it higher, right? The week is still young. Today is Tuesday. And of course, from Wednesday, Thursday and Friday, from the calendar, we have data coming out for the USD. So we should be expecting some volatility, some good volatility this week that should also make the cable to move. So no matter what you do, make sure you have your stop loss here. As a disclaimer, with this information we're giving you, it should be used strictly for educational purposes. And if you do decide to take the trade, just make sure you know how to use your risk management calculate your volume your lot size appropriately know where to set your stop loss and even know how to manage your trades trade management is very key very very important now with that said i'm going to round up now for today's video on the cable gbp usd 
and we are looking at buying opportunity in the market. If this video was helpful, you know what to do. Hit the subscribe button, give it a like, and of course, comment below with your questions or whatever, and I'll get back to you. Thank you guys for tuning in. And of course, trade safely. I remain Tolu of CSA Forex. Goodbye for now. Cheers.